Okay, I'm going to be talking about uh, Git Bash. I'm working on a Windows machine, so I'm not sure how this is going to translate to the Mac terminal. So the first thing I want to talk about is navigation. So usually we navigate or we change directory to the folder where our project is. So I'm going to start out with the CD and I'm going to say E colon forward slash. So this is the first thing. We can use forward slashes in our paths. And you know, in Windows, we always use a backslash, and that's always difficult to type. I'm always typoing in that. Forward slash, very easy to type, and it works in Git Bash. The other thing is tab completion. So now if I want to CD to my Git Tutorials directory, I only have to type the unique part of it and hit tab, and it will complete it for me. Now within that, I have a folder called My App and tab will complete it for me. Very quick, very nice. So here we are, we also have the dot dot which represents the parent directory. So I can say cd dot dot, brings us up one level. I'm gonna cd back into my app. We can also combine several of those, dot dot slash dot 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 dot. This is the parent of the parent or two levels up, and you can see that brings us back to the root of the eDrive. So we also have command history. So if we use the up and down arrows, we can display our previous commands. So you can see this is our the last command we used. That was one arrow up. Hit it again, command before that, command before that, and once again, this is the command I want to use now to go back to my app. So there we go couple other things that we can do here. So say we're on the command line and we want to move our cursor to the beginning of this line. We can use a control A to move the cursor to the beginning, control E to move to the end. We can, let's say my cursor is somewhere in the middle, if I did some edits, I can delete to the beginning with control U. I can delete to the end with control K and I can just delete this entire command if my cursor is at the end with a control U. It'll delete everything to the left of the cursor. If I'm at the beginning with a control A, I can do control K to delete everything to the end, to the right of the cursor. Uh, listing files. So let's say I'm here and I want to see all the files in this directory. I'll use ls. This displays the files in a horizontal format. If I do ls-l, we have this long format where it's in a column. I find this easier to find the files. We can use ls, or let me do an up arrow, and I can say r star this will display everything that starts with the letter R. I can do an ls-a for all files, and this shows hidden files as well. So here we can see our hidden .git directory and this hidden .git ignore file. Now we can combine those as well, so I can do a dash -al, and this order doesn't matter, I can even do an la. And now we get the long format and see the hidden files and folders. One more very important one, Control L clears the screen. Now we can, uh, let's fill it up again. We can also use clear, but of course, Control L is much easier. Plus, it does one other thing for us. Let's say we are typing a command. We already have a command in here. And we decide we want to clear the screen. If we do Control L, it will keep what we've typed on the command line on the command line. Okay, one more thing that I'm going to splice into this video. Uh, if we want to navigate to a folder, it's kind of a pain to use CD and go through all our directory structures. So if we have our uh, file explorer open, I can navigate here to the folder I want. I can right click on it and choose git bash here. When I click on that, well, let me bring this into view. 
it brings up git bash in the folder that I just clicked on. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.